superstition is real. They lurk beneath our world, in the denizens below the great divide between air and water. Most often, the search is the prize. You clamor around boulders and scree to find new pockets, new hot spots to bring monsters from their hiding places. But some days it just doesn't happen, and your search is relentless. Because the muskies seemingly have an interdimensional existence. One day is filled with aggressive takes and explosive anger, the next they're gone off to some other location in space and time. It's not about how many you catch or how big they are. It isn't about being able to launch 150 foot casts or the ability to cast it all. It's about the rush. When that fly hits the water, it's immediately being actively hunted by a massive predator. You're tying puppets to hang from a string and dance in some old macabre fashion either to entertain or just irritate its audience long enough for the audience to finally attack, like tomatoes and lettuce being thrown at bad comedians. And that's what you want. You want that aggression and the anger. And not just a little bit of it. You want to see it all go down right at your feet. And those teeth-filled jaws opening wide around your fly. You want the fear. You desire to be frightened by the sudden and voracious explosion of the muskie. When you go home, and every joint and bone in your body aches from casting flies. You plop yourself down in the chair and look at your hands stinging and bloody from being dumb enough to reach into the mouth of a predator to retrieve your fly. And you can't help but to smile. Maybe laugh a little. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> As you fall asleep, you relive the events of the day, the difficulty, the success, and your mind wanders. Maybe by drawing your blood, you were infected. Because once it gets into your system, you fall into a hole. How big of a fly will they eat? What am I doing wrong? And the intelligence of the muskie comes into question. You know they're there. You know they want to attack, but maybe they know you're fishing for them. And they too are fishing for a game of tug of war with a human. The muskies have officially worked their way into the darkest recesses of your mind, and you've become addicted. It will never be popular. Sometimes days, weeks, and months go by without finding a muskie. It's very destructive to the psyche, and it takes a certain type of person. back on all the hard work you put in to catch a muskie the way you wanted, no matter what the size, that one fish makes all the difference. That one fish paints an eternal smile on your face. That one fish is burned into your memory forever. <laughs>